Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Uh, on today's show, <coughs> we are showcasing 11 Bitatsis uh, OTK Tovani Abomination. Um, and it's OTK because it relies on Flesh Atronach and Mentor's Ring. Oh look, and some charged creatures like Bandari Opportunist. <laughs> uh, <coughs> it's pretty uh, easy to pull off the combo in one swift strike. Uh, you've got Necromancer's Amulet, uh, just like Standard Abomination. It's basically a Standard Abomination Scout, um, plus a lot of um, a purple creatures combined with Mentor's Ring. Uh, now, let's get over the deck. We've got Dress Spy, Dwarf and Spider, Bandari Opportunist, uh, Black Ridge Rebuilder, Deeper Trapper, Drain Vitality, uh, Givewalk Spider, Caspire, Scout, Moon Sugar Smuggler, Mournhold, Guardian. These two are my uh, personal edition. I removed um, two Flesh Atronauts because I think uh, they're pretty dead in hand. Um, and if you cycle enough, you'll eventually get it anyway. <coughs> and Mentor's Ring as well. So I thought there was... Um, there was actually no place for all three of them. But you can run three of them either way. Uh, the original deck is going to be linked below in the description. And the uh, that is the deck list from, uh, from Legend Decks. Uh, and the deck code will be my own um, incarnation. Uh, carrying on, we've got Scout Support, Astudius Greybeard, Unglim the Listener, Ward Wall, Crucible, Blacksmith, Palace Conspirator, Shrieking Harpy, Spider Worker, Thieves Skill, Recruit, Indra Mastermind, Necromancer's Amulet already uh, spoke about. Crucible Blacksmith <coughs> draws you, at least the first one, it is going to draw you a Mentor's Ring. So, your item problem uh, is solved. Uh, Shadow Marking, three copies, Savani Cat, Spore Thieves, Guild Fence, Varanis, Courier, Disciple of the Mirror, Mentor's Ring, and Flesh h &R. Uh, The deck is pretty simple, you just cycle until you get bored, and then you just run Flesh h &R. Um, and make sure you uh, hold on to one copy of Bandari Opportunist in hand, and then uh, play Mentor's Ring, and uh, Swing for lethal, and that's about it. You can actually catch your opponent with full HP, even more than full HP, considering that you won't be attacking, and your opponent will probably, um, I don't know, drain at some point. You can uh, just ignore his draining amount. Uh, there's plenty of creatures uh, once uh, you've cycled enough that uh, the flush HNR can even be a 60 uh, attack creature. <laughs> <laughs> because we do have 62 creatures now uh, if you're going to cycle even more uh, Bandari opportunists and uh, have him die well of course uh, the flesh agent can be even even bigger this is deck this is how it works let's uh, put it to the test and have some fun and looks like we're fighting against uh, a mirrorish it's not mirrorish because it's it's pretty far fetched that my opponent will play uh, a Tilvani Abomination as well. Uh, now, it's a mirror class match. Uh, Tilvani versus Tilvani. We'll have to see how we can deal with. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it will be Conscription. Maybe it will be Nick Sox. Maybe it will be God knows what. Already have a Disciple of Namira. In hand, um, if you're not aware, the Supple of the Mirror has been banned um, from the Master series. Uh, in the upcoming events, that is the um, uh, last spot qualifiers and uh, the uh, final tournament. So that means only one thing: that the Supple of the Mirror will get nerfed. The cause of this is because of the Imperial Abomination uh, deck. Most likely, but as you've seen in the Master Series, uh, Imperial Abomination can uh, go off or just don't. Actually, not getting off at all. Um, that's pretty much uh, telling us that the deck has a, I don't know, 50% win rate, maybe even lower, because 
um, the deck is relied on Disciple of Namira uh, to cycle the cards. And uh, if that doesn't come, or if it's casted into time, then um, the deck has no purpose or meaning. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, with the nerf of the Disciple of Namira, several decks will die. That is Scout Abomination as well. Um, and any abomination using uh, Disciple of Namira. Also, Doomcrag Warrior will uh, basically be unplayable. Like, unplayable permanently. Because um, Doomcrag Warrior also relied on Disciple of Namira to, uh, uh, to cycle through the cards and uh, reach the Journey card. Play Journey to Southern God and then uh, spawn crazy, crazy big stuff and uh, push for lethal. Or Neuro Necromancer. Bringing back Indra Mastermind. We already have Mentor's Ring and we have a um, Necromancer's Amulet down into play. Now, the only thing we need to think about is how or when exactly to play Disciple of Namira. We're going to stall some more and we're going to play Deeper Trapper. And for 6 slash 7 Magicka, I could start um, the cycling. I don't know. Ah, oh, never mind. No, I'm not going to be able to stop the cycling. I needed two cards in the Shadow Lane uh, to drop uh, Disciple of the Mirror and those uh, and those two Dwemers. Two Disciples of the Mirrors. This could be interesting if I can stall even more. And play double Disciple of the Mirror and then start cycling like mad. I'm going to have to, uh, to try... Uh, Walk with our Lord. Try to be, um, I don't know, aware of what might kill uh, all the disciples at once. That is an ice storm. I will drop one disciple for now. Studious Greybeard. Well, let's drop Studious Graveyard. Uh, actually, no, let's get some HP. That Dark Sedusa is kind of nasty. But considering uh, the fact Disciple of Nomura is in play, uh, probably my opponent won't be so trigger happy. Start killing off. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, skip the turn. Maybe waiting for, I don't know, I saw him. Dwarven Spider, Studious Graybeard. You know what? Screw it all. If one disciple survived, why not both of them survive? Maybe we'll be lucky. We'll draw so many cards. Cast by Scar, uh, plus Conspirator. Let's play. Let's play Cast by Scout. Destroy Greybeard. Let's play Dwarven Spider over the Cast by Scout. Actually, let's play a guard instead. We're gonna draw so many cards. There's Thieves Guild fans. Sorry that uh, forgot to shut off my alarm, and uh, it interrupted my recording. <laughs> I'm ready for 
we lost some turn time in there, but all in all, it was good. I'm guessing my opponent will probably want to deal some damage now. We've got seven cards in hand. I'm going to overdraw one, actually two, considering the card that I'm going to draw next turn. That's okay. As long as I'm cycling. There goes the respite. I'll have to play a Thieves Guild fence, even though it's a four cost. Uh, it's going to be pretty decent. Uh, Moon Sugar Smuggler, damn it, that was uh, that was a good card. Too bad it went away. Let's drop another Necromancer's Amulet. <coughs> We're going to draw two more cards. A Ward Wall, another Ward Wall. Oh, that is good. That is so good. We have a Drain Vitality in hand. That's one buff. We can play the... Oh! Second Drain Vitality. What's with these frames, man? I have no clue. Game is a bit sluggish. Maybe that's also a nerf. <laughs> Whenever you're playing Abomination, the client uh, stops moving slower. So you can't pull off uh, too many stuff. Let's play one Bonari Opportunist as well. And that's it for now. The opponent will probably go after one disciple, that's a certain. Sources negation on Thieves Guild Fence. I'm going to draw two more cards. Ungolim and another Thieves Guild Fence. I'm at 57 HP, good lord. <laughs> Three Necromancer's Amulet on board. Really helpful. Okay. There's just more guards. Dress by went away. Now I need to get rid of some cards in hand because if I trade uh, anything what are we going after? I'll just lose a lot of cards to overdraw. Let's play Drain Vitality. No Indra Mastermind gives me another Indra Mastermind. Got eight cards in hand, so I will draw two more. So I'll have nine cards right now. Tilvani cuts four and Varanus Courier. I'm going to overdraw now. Play Varanus Courier. There's Flesh H or not. Ooh, that was kind of at the limit. <laughs> Flesh Asian off would have been uh, just one card after my hand was full. <clears throat> it would have uh, gone to scrap <laughs> the entire combo. What can I say? I like to play it dangerously. Did not target Thieves Guild fans. Another guard. Supply Runner. No. 
Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I can see why he didn't target uh, the Thieves Guild fans initially. Well, now I can uh, just uh, cycle easily. Let's play another Thieves Guild fans. Let's trade into those. Okay, Munchuga Smuggler, I'm gonna drop that and sacrifice it with a uh, Thieves Guild recruit. Gearwalk Spider. Brotherhood Assassin, I'm gonna drop this into the uh, field lane. I will also shackle uh, the barrel soccer and uh, any other card that can basically um, I don't know, destroy my disciple. Silvani Casper, oh my god, I'm drawing a lot of cards. Let's get rid of Cast by Scout. Goodbye. And uh, let's play it till Varney Cast for as well. The Flush of Eternal is growing steadily. We can uh, we can actually overdraw. Like crazy. We have a, a zero cost Bandari opportunist in hand. A discounted Flush Atronaut and Mentor's Ring, so the combo is um, is on. I only need to find like uh, a play in which. Oh, that's perfect. Heroic Rebirth. Yeah, it's a goodbye. Flush Atronaut, thirty-six. 37 actually. And uh, good game. <laughs> good game. A pretty nice sack. You can uh, have fun with it. And uh, please leave a comments uh, below what you get. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers.